Hello friends, today we are going to analyze the given cantilever beam using Macaulay's method and we are going to calculate the slope and deflection at the free end, it means at location C. Now for using the Macaulay's method, we have to first take a section in the cantilever beam. So from the right hand side, if we take the section between A to B as a last span, then Our moment at, at location as a section which is mx and at location x the tan into total distance as a x meter in clockwise direction and sectional right hand side clockwise as a negative. So our value is minus tan into x. Now for 20 kN load the distance is total x minus 2 and the 20 kN load creates clockwise so value is minus 20 into x minus 2 while for the rest udl which is cutted by the section it also creates the clockwise moment hence the value is minus udl value as a 20 distance as a x minus 2 and cg value is x minus 2 by 2 as a x minus 2 square divided by 2 so at section we have the moment as calculated now if we use a elastic equation relationship which is ei d square y by dx square which is equal to minus m and putting this value we will have equation as a tan into x now separating all term 20 into x minus 2 and the rest value is tan into x minus 2 square now integrating first we will have ei into slope as a dy by dx which is tan x integration as a x square by 2 plus c1 as a constant now 20 for x minus 2 we have to consider wall term as a single term according to the method so the integration is x minus 2 whole square divided by 2 and the rest value is tan now x minus 2 square as a x minus 2 cube divided by 3. Now again integrating this equation we will have ei into y as a deflection tan x square as a x cube by 3 and in denominator 2 value is there so 3 to the 6 so tan x cube by 6 plus c1 is integrated as a c1x second integration constant for the second integration now this value is 20 x minus 2 square as a x minus 2 cube by 3 and in denominator 2 value is there so value is 6 and the next value is 10 x minus 2 cube integration as a 4 by 4 and in denominator 3 is there now for the constant c1 and c2 we have to apply the boundary condition and we know that at location A due to the fixity our slope as well as deflection is 0 and the location A is at 5 meters from the origin. So our first boundary condition which is while x equal to 5 meter our dy by dx or slope at location A which is equal to 0. So from equation A our value for di dy by dx as a 0 now putting the value of x as a 5 we will have now solving this term we will have c1 value as a minus 305 at location a our deflection is also 0 hence from the equation b we will have eiy as a 0 now 10 by 6 into x cube as a 10 by 6 into y cube now c1 value is minus 305 so it is minus 305 into x as a 5 
plus C2 is constant. Twenty by six as it is. Now five minus two cube as a three cube plus ten by twelve into five minus two as a three raised to four. Now solving this term, we will have Our value for C2 which is 1 1 pi 9 in 1 7. So using boundary condition we will have the both integration constant. So let us put this value in equation A and B for the formation of slope and deflection final equation. We will have from equation A our slope equation is Ei theta which is equal to tan x square by 2 now plus c1 is minus 305 20 by 2 as a tan x minus 2 whole square plus 10 by 3 x minus 2 cube and our deflection equation is eiy which is equal to tan x cube by 6 minus 305 into x as a c1x plus c2 as a 1159.17 plus 20 by 6 x minus 2 cube plus 10 by 12 x minus 2 raised to 4. So equation c and d is slope and deflection final equation for given B. Now we have to calculate the slope and deflection under the point C or we can say that the free end. So at location C our value for the distance x is 0 as our origin and C point is coincide with each other. So let us put x equal to 0 in equation C we will have Ei theta C which is equal to now x is 0 so tan into x square by 2 is 0 minus 305 due to the c1 as it is 0 minus 2 square so value is negative it means at less than 0 so we have to ignore this wall term similarly at x minus 2 cube 0 minus 2 it means minus 2 so we have to ignore the term hence our value theta c which is equal to 305 by ei and negative indicates that this is the anti-clockwise rotation. So at free end we have 305 by Ei as a slope. Now if we put the x equal to 0 in equation D we will have the deflection at location C and it is 0 cube as a 0 so voltum is 0 minus 305 into 0 as a 0 1159.17 as a C2 0 minus 2 it is minus 2 so we have to ignore this term again the last term is also ignored due to the less than 0 value hence our deflection at location C is 1159.17 by EI. Now if we have to calculate the slope and deflection under the point B then for slope and deflection at point B we have to put the distance x as a 2 meter and we can calculate slope and deflection using the both equation. So thus we can calculate slope and deflection at any point on the beam using Macaulay's method and elastic curve equation. Thank you.